Alrighty, time to start my day off at Nights at Freddy's VR. Ah, yes. Good to be back in my office working 9 to 5 for 100 bucks once again. Man, I need to turn on the cameras. My god. Hello. What? Oh, you have phone guy? Can you get me number one, please? I need number one. Thank you very much. No problem, phone guy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Also, workers would ingest a frosted sugar chorus for sustenance. J Job bot? What are you doing here? Isn't this that? Uh, SRS Business Incorporation? Oh, come on, Job bot. We already been through. We, we already been through this. You don't have to let me know ahead of time that I need to go back to work. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> hey, that was a pretty nice throw. Shut up, job bot. For the last time, we gotta get. If you're gonna need me back in the office, I'm not. I am not. I'm not available at this perfect moment. So now I gotta get Chet to cover me for today. Chet, where are you? Chet. Oh, Chet. Uh, I, listen, bud. I uh, I need your help with something. Um. You see, I. I really can't be here right now. I honestly have to go take care of some business in another game. Uh, could you cover me for the shift? I'm a computer. Okay, thanks, bud. Jobbot says get to work. All right, Jobbot, I'll be back. Don't worry, I'll complete my shift. Just make sure that everything's still good. Oh! oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Hey, of course when I need to talk about you in the last ga last video, you show up. Greetings from the powers of the internet. It is I, Rob, and welcome to the final episode of Five Nights at Freddy's. Ver. Help wanted. Last time, as you can see, we have tackled the pizza party and thus got us our last tape. As well as, not only did take care of Pizza Party, but we went through Mango and Ennard's little mini games to get all the stuff that we need. And now this time, oh boy, I have not touched this game at all, so I am literally scared because I know for a fact, good old glitchy boy is somewhere and he's gonna come out of me and just scare the heebie-jeebies out of me. So, what we're going to do today is that we're going to go through each and every one of these uh, nights and, you know, go through and get all the coins and show you all the tape locations. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this. I'm scared shitless right now. You guys do not understand. Do it. So I can at least see what I'm doing. Okay. So, first things first. As you want to look around the room. Okay, first coin is in here. Hello. Hello. Okay, second uh, coin I is under Carl. Message for you to help you get and the third, third coin, if it appears around 3 um, a.m. When the 3 a.m. hits, this monitor will start glitching point. up a little bit. And you have to uh, grab the, the coin that's right there. So and as for the... I know it be a Shut up. I've been waiting for doing that for God knows how long. Ed, talk to me. Uh, let's see. First and the last thing you must know, the uh, the tape is right here. Uh, what? Did you honestly thought I was gonna actually look? I was gonna play the game? Man, you guys are weird. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, f me. Want candy, bro? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand over here. You are a lot taller than I thought you would be. Oh, wait a minute. This is not my actual height. Watch this. I'm gonna stand over here, though. Yeah, motherfucker. Watch me. <laughs> I love doing that. Damn, you're so tall. It's because this is not my actual height. Because it's, I think you're supposed to take it as the perspective as a kid. So, beats me. Okay, right then. FNAF 2.
Oh man, I'm a lot closer to start with. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Oh, uh, dang it! The green screen's blocking it! Okay, job. so. That's a new and improved Freddy Fazbear. Keep it on me just in case. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the As things. As you can see, the vents are actually a lot closer than I thought it would. Okay, first coin. Uh, now I want you if you're playing the VR version, it's right here. About the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative the mask. impression of the company. There's your next coin. Uh, and the last coin, you have to get jump scared by Night Marionette. Night Marionette. Golly, I've been focusing on the night terrors this whole time. But for the last tape, you have to get jump scared by Marionette. All you gotta do is just let the tape wind down and you should be good to go. That's how you get all the coins. Uh, oh wait, I know where the tape Every is. It's supposed while, to be on this box. Over the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. My God. It doesn't seem to affect all of Corey. the electronics, but it does affect Corey! You're them. real! You're real! Uh, Go get the monsters! <laughs> Alrighty, FNAF 3. And if you all don't know, I was scared the worst on this stage. So first things first. Oh, that's my microphone. Hey, hey, glad you came back. <laughs> it's supposed to be the tape. Found some, some great new relics. Uh, okay. The the, one of the, the vents have a problem. Right now. No, shut up. Okay, first coin, right behind the monitor. To get your tape, it's behind this little maintenance panel. Simple enough. Now, this one. This one's actually kind of tricky. For this one, let's see, where is it? Are you it? No. Okay, three. Nine. Okay, three, nine, five, two, four, eight. There's a little number pad above the little uh, ventilation cams. Starting from this square down to this one. And if you type in the password from the fr from that three, which is three nine three nine five two four eight, you'll get that little collectible. For the third coin. It's down there when you have a maintenance issue with the vent. So all you gotta do is just let ju let Balloon Boy or Mangle effect, uh, jump scare you. And then you just grab the coin and you're good to go. And Nightmare BB. And, okay. I might as well actually get this out of the way for some folks because... What the f*** was that? You don't scare me, glitch trap. I already had it up to here with, with babies. Plush baby, to be more precise, so the audience doesn't have to sue my ass. There's one coin and two tapes. I'm watching you. Okay, one coin's in Nightmare BB. All you have to do there is you gotta get the flashlight and aim it straight up to the ceiling fan in the room. And me, go ahead and show actually a picture of that because I really don't want to get into that level right now. <laughs> what you have to do is you have to shine your flashlight straight up, you'll find the coin on the ceiling fan. It'll be a while if you're gonna to pick up the coin if it's in VR, but don't worry, we'll grab it eventually. Uh, for, for Plush Baby, you suck. Moving on, for Plush Baby, on the right side of the room, on the countertop, on your right side, literally right here, there's a tape glitching right next, there's a tape on top of Funtime Freddy's plushie. Grab that and that's your next tape. And for Funtime Foxy, now this one's kind of nerve wracking, so if you have a better move control than the, what these are for the PlayStation VR, then kudos to you. All you have to do is navigate yourself to the left side of the room, a fun time auditorium and you'll see the tape in plain sight on the wall you should be able to see it it's like a purple glitched out tape shouldn't be that hard to, to collect now for this part this actually confused me a little bit but it's no problem so for this part there's only tapes for chica freddy and foxy i think enter me if i mess that up again please let me know and for each of these each of these. Bonnie and Chica have three coins. Freddy and Foxy have two coins. Ah, oh, Welcome back to Parts and Service. Hey, don't worry, I will do that in just a minute, but just letting you know, under the Bonnie plushie, there's a blue coin right there. Uh, there's a coin right there. Behind this, uh... Okay. There are two small clicks. Oh, f <laughs> Stupid guitar! Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Okay, then strum Bonnie's guitar three times at least. You don't have to 
You don't have to do the adjusting first. All you gotta do is just strum this guitar at least one time, and then you collect your coin. Oh, freaking! You get scared sometimes because there's a giant green hand waving at you. And look, I have green hands too! Next up is Chica's minigame. And just a friendly reminder for some of you folks that are concerned that there's coins in the Dark Light world, as long as you get the coins in one of the levels, whether it be the regular one or the Dark Light one, that's just one coin and one tape for each of them. Because there's 30 coins and there's 28 tapes? Welcome back to Parts Jesus and Service. Jesus Christ! There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Okay. Sounds like First Chica point, has been rummaging right here, around the kitchen again, the hiding you any other treats can? inside her oh, beak. Freaking, like... To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in. Oh no! It looks like Chica needs another dose of the hey. chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button Corey. another push as I'm needed. Beat your ass. Get, get Return it. the cupcake to Chica's plate. Place the cupcake on the plate. If I could see the cupcake. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Get back. Great job. Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids okay, again. Just like... Take a complimentary slice of pizza oh, for a job well done. Corey does move! Jesus Christ, you're a lot closer than I thought. Okay, just to go for a little refresher again. Sorry, editor, me on. Do... Take it. Okay, fine. Delicious. Feed a See slice of pizza to, to Chica. You get a coin, trash can, there's a coin and a tape. And behind you, behind the Chica chug, you get yourself a, co a coin there. Another choking hazard! <laughs> What's up? Is my season pass still on? Oh, damn. <laughs> Little boy, hold up. Carefully, grab oh. and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. At the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Oh, shoot. Give me that coin. <laughs> oh, no. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at... Oh, no. It looks like a former employee attempted to repair... In Mangle and Ennard's minigame... In the like in the regular world, because there's a there's a point of what I'm trying to know. In Mangle's mini game, there's two things you must collect. Oh my God. I can't even see, man. All right, you're right there, aren't you? Damn. Okay, so just let you know, there's a tape right there. There's a tape right there. By the way, look back here. Get right here. There we go. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Don't play this level. That's scary. That's the scariest shit you'll ever see. Oh, wait a minute. This reminds me. Although I still gotta do all this stuff. Not that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. I was going to go to the prize counter, but I'm gonna wait for that. Play now. Next up is Ennard. Now keep in mind, folks. You can get these tapes and coins depending on the mission. However, in the dark world, we missed a coin. On the left side of Ennard's minigame, in the dark light world, there's a bonnet plushie, which has our la our next coin on our list. Is there a tape? Ooh. How come this minigame looks more fun? Motion trigger. Secondary service elevator ventilation shaft. Okay, so for this one, it's quite simple. The coin's right here for you guys to collect. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Righty then. Right then. Now comes a, a lot more simpler one. Luckily for you, Night Terrors is not as bad as you think it would be. Because, lucky you folks, you don't have to go through every level looking for coins. That is a heaven. If you have to collect more coins than what you had to do in other levels, now that would suck. The only levels you don't have to do 
are Funtime Freddy and Night Marion. Those levels do not have any coins or tapes. However, there is tapes. There's tapes in both Fred Bear and Circus Baby. Circus, ba Circus Baby has your coins. Fred Bear only has the tape. As you already saw in the in this level, all you have to do is look for the telephone, which is in the front of your room next to your closet. Whether it be in the NVR or VR, all you got to do is walk up to the closet door. On the floor, you should see the, the little phone toy. You go over there, grab it with your hand. That's how you get the one of the tapes. Now then, for Circus Baby. So there's two coins. One right here. It feels like my birthday. Did you have a gift for me? <laughs> I closed the door. You can't do that to me, game. You know what? I'm actually quite glad I have you right here. Corey, don't you remember the times? You had a high pitched voice for some reason. I didn't know why. But these were the times, Corey. You, me, sitting in front of this little toy monitor with our little eyeballs poking out of Freddy. Ah, yes, those were the good times, Corey. I wish I wasn't such a scaredy cat by that time. Get rudely interrupted again. There's two coins. There's one behind the plush baby, plush baby plush. There's one over here on the side. And there's a tape. Oh, wait, two, hold on. One. And there's a tape right there. The coins are next to the plush babies. I guess you- ah! You can't do that to me, game! Oh, come on! You really- Ooh. Fun fact. Oh, the game did me dirty! You know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. Now then comes the exceptionally hard part. I don't know why that yellow coin was gold. I don't know why. So, for this next part, we have to go into the dark world. And just letting you know, as long as you still, as long as you got the coins and the tapes at least once, then you're good. I'm breathing a sigh of relief because I'm not ready for this next part. Okay, so this next part, we're going to have to go into the dark world for inner. Where's that little disgusting animatronic thing? Uh huh. Oh, wait, weren't you? Huh? Okay. Welcome to Circus Babies Entertainment and Rental. It has been... Motion trigger. Breaker room. Oh my god. I forgot this was tougher. Uh, right. Well done. I'm gonna hurt my hand for this. At least tell me you can track my hands right here. Well done. I'm a big, strong, brave man! I'm not! Somebody call my mom! Oh, crap. I honestly guessed on that one. I am not proud of that at all. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so on the left side, after you complete this mini game, I hope it is, because I honestly don't know. Come on, that was it! Oh. Oh, isn't this quite an unfortunate time? Hi there. <laughs> I got Taco Bell! I will say, I love getting interrupted during recordings, not gonna lie, because they're always so funny.
Welcome to Circus Babies Entertainment and Rental. Hey, bud. Oh, gotcha! Yay! Now time for the final task, and I'm actually quite excited for this one, because I don't know what to suspect here. So the next, last one's gonna be a pizza party. I was actually wrong. I always thought there was one coin, but there's actually two coins. Okay, what are my playing buttons? Flashlight. Okay, it's my uh, touch button. Uh, teleport with the T button. Don't be late. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, look, it's Chico without his uh, hand. Hey, bud. I hope I know where I'm going because I actually forgot. Oh, yeah. One coin's right here. And then we have to restart the. Oh. That's not scary at all. That's the last coin! Yeah! Yay! Oh! Balloon! Oh! <gasps> Did I actually go to that thing right there? Oh! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Yes, sir! All our friends there. Also, I realized Freddy's body's right there. She can still missing her arm. Body's there. There's no door. Hold on, though. Home. Home. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, the only, 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 play, 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 play. Oh. Hello there, kids! I'm Jackpot, your best robo companion! Man, where did that name come from? It sounds familiar. So goodbye for now, and we'll see you on the toy aisle. Self-advertisement! Bye-bye. Self-advertisement! Bye-bye. Take care. Self-advertisement! 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 Right then, we got all the 30 coins. Ooh, and still, still more. Candy! We're here only to claim one prize. <gasps> Exotic butters! Oh. No! What the hell? That's in the backstage. Huh. <gasps> you bastard! What's good of a bowl that can't even freaking serve my exotic butters? Well, if you all don't mind me, I'm gonna take my basket. Oh my god. Cory! Oh, Cory, that's so soft. It's so small, bud. Here, you can ride in my basket. Hmm. Ah! I lost the basket! Eh, whatever. Is it back there? Yes, it is. The coins, other things that we must mention about uh, the coins and the tapes. There's one tape in the title screen. As soon as you start off the game, you'll be on the little 
little uh, Freddy Fazbear minecart track. On the left side, hand side, in the railing, in the railings, there should be a tape in plain sight. All you gotta do is grab that, and that's your first tape. So then, next part. This one's a little bit easier. As you can see from the blue silhouette, there's a blue coin right here for you. Now, for this next part, there's three tapes that you gotta collect in the prize counter. Where the Toy Chica plush is, where, where it used to be, there was a tape right there in plain sight. Easy to get. In the prize counter, inside here, not where the Freddy plushies are, but where the disappointment chips were. Reach in here and you should be able to grab at least one of the tapes. That's it for that one. And last but not least, there's one tape inside this little gumball machine. All you gotta do is reach over and grab it. Next coin, and I think it's your last one, technically. Because you have to complete the game either way to get both the last coin and the tape. Wait, no, it comes with me. Okay. Dang, nice models. Okay, so this next part, open this drawer right here, get one coin. And is it this one? Oh, wait, no, it's this one. Open this last latch, and your last tape will be right here. Yes! Thumbnail material here, boys! Thumbnail material here! Oops, I think I dropped something over here. You're welcome, fam. What a perfect way to end this video. Almost. That right there is the best thing I've ever seen. I guess you could say I am a big disappointment. Alrighty, now then. Each tape plays the special logs. You need them in order to recreate Glitch Trap once again, and then eventually, you know, defeat him. So, I'll go through each of these tapes once, just so you guys can all can listen. Ederby, you know what to do here. Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files, in a place that only a beta tester would look, and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. I saw it for the first time today. There was a character I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really feels like this project is in trouble, in no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit, there's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. But as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess they're more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. Oh, so that's Jeremy. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No? There was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, 
he started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. I came in early that morning. No one else was there. At least that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. The supply room was so bright, glowing from all the way down the hall. Jeremy complained of nightmares when he came in this morning. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale, looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office, but it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. They'd been prepping me for it. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. You can always tell when a company is getting ready to fire someone. They start giving out written warnings for silly things making sure to build a paper trail and make a case for a firing. Things that normally no one would care about suddenly become grave offenses, all worthy of being written and documented. I guess it works two ways, because it also encourages a person to quit rather than be scrutinized so heavily. I think Jeremy was too far gone to consider that option, though. The thing about it is that I don't think they were going to fire him because of anything he was doing wrong. They just knew he'd seen something. They needed to discredit him. There was something that looked like a Halloween mask laying on the floor. I didn't understand. Ink must have spilled. It was only then that I heard a shuffle from the testing room and realized Jeremy must be there. I went back and peered in the window. I couldn't see his face. He had the visor covering his head. He had ink spilled on himself as well. The front of his shirt looked black in the dark room. He turned his head in my direction, but I don't think he knew I was there. I was told I had three days to finish Jeremy's work, but I know it's just passing the time. They don't really expect me to do anything. It's just to keep up appearances until the buyout is complete. We have to look like we have things under control. There's another potential development studio that wants to pick up from here, but who knows what kind of lies they're being fed to convince them to do it. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do my best to see what's here, make notes of it, and try to isolate where this thing is hiding. At least then, the next person that tests this will have a chance of getting rid of it. Today was my last day of beta testing, and the anomaly that I've been seeing is nowhere to be found. But after inspecting some of the files, it seems that it's attached itself to these logs. My logs. That can't be an accident. So now I have to make a choice. Do I leave these logs here for you to find? Or do I try to purge this thing myself by destroying the logs? I've chosen the latter. I can't delete them. By creating a protected area to store these logs apart from the game, I effectively gave this thing a safe place to hide itself. It's in here now. I may not be able to delete it, but I might be able to do something else now that it's attached itself. Great. I have an idea. They lied to us. They lied to all of us. They told us that the whole point of this VR game was to undo the bad PR done by a rogue indie game developer who supposedly made up a bunch of crazy stories that tarnished the brand. But that's not true at all. In their haste to develop this VR game and clear their name, they sent us some things I don't think they intended us to see such as a hard drive containing emails between Fazbear Entertainment and a certain indie developer. Fazbear Entertainment hired the game developer. Those indie games were designed to conceal and make light of what happened. This isn't just an attempt to rebrand. It's an elaborate cover-up, a campaign to discredit everything. I ran a fragmentation program on the area of memory that was storing these logs for you. I effectively broke the files into pieces and broke the anomaly along with it. That means that you won't have my warnings to guide you, but hopefully it also means that this anomaly, this virus, or whatever it is, will remain broken and unable to do more damage. Hello, you don't know me. I had created a series of logs for you documenting the troubled development of this VR game that you're now testing in hopes that you 
Whoever you are, and whatever team you are with, will abandon development. Now I fear that those logs are being used as a Trojan horse. If you are unable to abandon development, hide all traces of these logs that I've created. I fear that finding them and reassembling them will also reassemble the very thing I've tried so desperately to destroy. There is a way to kill it. It wants to escape. To escape through someone. Someone plugged into this game. That's you now. You have to let it begin the process of leaving through you. Okay. Then use the disconnect switch that I've embedded by the main stage. Let it approach you. Let it begin to merge with you. Play the music and flip the switch. That will cause a hard restart of the game and flush the memory, effectively killing it. Sweet. I hope. I don't know when it will come for you. Great. Not only that, we have a rogue green uh, spazzing out bunny chasing after us at this particular moment in time, but we gotta have to somehow merge with the thing. Luckily for you, it's simple. Sometimes when you're going through transitions, like leaving from room to room, you will have Glitch Trap trying to come to you as he's trying to greet you, saying, hello, merge with me. While you merge with him, you have to do something with the buttons, play the music, which is push the buttons, then flick the switch. Which, if I recall, I think it's this button on the side of it. So, I don't know. So, I'm scared. Can we merge? Oh, damn. Okay, uh... Okay. How do I do this? Okay. Uh, bless the music and flip the switch! Bless the music, flip the switch! I didn't do it! I f <laughs> Son of a b Corey! 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 <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh wait, is that what the fun time is that what the showtime button is for? I bet you it was. This is my ready stance at Ermy. This is my ready stance. Oh sh <laughs> Okay, uh, play the music and flick the switch. Flick the switch! 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 I hit my microphone again! <laughs> no! Oh, come on! Flick the switch! Flick the switch! I can't reach that button! Okay, I'm gonna stand right here. Okay. Did I do it? <gasps> what the frick is this? Oh. Oh. Shh. I did it. <gasps> oh. Huh. And thus Although we didn't really technically kill him, he's off to a better place. So yeah. There we have it, folks. Five Nights at Freddy's VR is now done. Thus, our, our race to security breach has now been completed. And I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I play this in VR? Because technically the VR this game that's coming out is not technically a VR game. And I already did the scary part for NAF 4, so FNAF 4, and so you all can shh be quiet. That game sucks. I don't want to play it. FNAF 3, easy. FNAF 2, easy. FNAF 1, easy. Actually, FNAF 2, meh. I don't know about FNAF 2, but hey. You know what, Glitch Trap? I'm glad you're a little toy buddy now. 
I'm surprised he's actually green. I thought it was going to be like a little bit his yellow form. But luckily, we don't have to dread about you no longer. So, yes. Now then, one more note I must mention before we end this video off. As we already know, by the time this video is recorded, it's December the 14th. This video is going to come out tomorrow, aka the 15th, which is today for you guys. So, in other words, we won't be able to play the game exactly on launch because, you know, I don't have the proper equipment at this time. However, I will be there for launch, watching this game live with you all whenever it gets on launch. Thus, it I want to talk to Glitch Trap still. Please be there still. I do not want to do that little mini game thing again. As though we don't have the equipment we need, we're not going to be able to do the video on launch. However, I will still be watching the video on launch so we can all see that wonderful video as it comes out on PS5 and PS4. And just for people that don't know when this game is going to come out on other consoles like for Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and Steam, the, con the game is officially going to be launched on December 16th for PS4 and PS5. You can get your free copies there. But if you don't want it on a PS4 or PS5 and you want a different on a different console, it will be launched via three months prior, around March, early March or mid-March, last time I checked. Now, if you'll all excuse me, not only that I get to savor this wonderful green bunny for thumb green bunny for thumbnail material, I get to enjoy this beautiful where is it? This beautiful bag of Taco Bell. So yes. This will be concluding here today. Thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you all later. Until Security Breach has officially launched.